This video is sponsored by V8. It's not. I just wish it was. Hi. So, it's raining, and I want to talk about something. I think, I think you can hear that, right? Sort of. It's raining. I want to talk about the reasons why I would recommend DaVinci Resolve to absolute beginners. There are lots of different options out there if you want to learn how to edit video. And some of those are absolutely more approachable or maybe even just flat out easier to learn than DaVinci Resolve. So why do I recommend DaVinci Resolve? This is not a numbered list um, because there's lots of like part twos and like two-sided points. So we'll see where it goes. So why do I recommend DaVinci Resolve? It's free. Obviously, this is a really big point. There is a remarkably full-featured version of DaVinci Resolve for free. And it is not a cheap sample or a demo or an overly uh, limited software or a piece of software that lets you think it's going to be everything you need and then slaps a watermark on your export. Hmm. This is just my vacuum. Probably should have moved this. And Resolve ends up in a lot of these conversations about, like, what is the best free video editor? And that might, like, play against Resolve a little bit to be sort of in, like, the kiddie pool of free software. But Resolve is serious. I tell people all the time when they're thinking about whether or not DaVinci Resolve is worth it that I think the free version is worth more than the $300 price tag on the studio version. And this tip is great for beginners, of course, but also for anyone trying it out. Beginners through pros, if you're interested in DaVinci Resolve, don't buy it right off the bat. Download the free version, get familiar with the tools, and then you can make a more informed decision about whether you want to upgrade to the studio version. Also, when you are a brand new beginner and you are just learning, you are going to be your least efficient <laughs> when you're editing. It's going to take you so much longer to do everything because you are learning along the way. So why pay that extra tax just for access to a software if you're going through those same foundational steps. You're learning how a standard timeline works. You can gain that base level knowledge in a free software in Resolve. And this kind of goes into my second point. I recommend DaVinci Resolve to absolute beginners because it gives you somewhere to start. I know it can be overwhelming jumping into Resolve, seeing all these panels, all these different options. It can be a lot. So I say to beginners, don't sweat it. Open the edit page and start going. My intro to Resolve video uh, focuses really, I think almost entirely on the edit page and with just a few pointers and just getting familiar with where some of the tools are, you can start editing a video very, very quickly. My intro is just over 10 minutes because all a brand new user really needs is just to be told how the very basics work. And for as complicated as video editing can get, the basics are pretty basic. You have a track, you need to chop up clips, you need to move them around, hey, you have a video. You have that familiar workspace on the edit page, and then you can start to explore a little. And that's the second point. DaVinci Resolve gives you somewhere to grow. One thing I like to say a lot is that um, instead of thinking that DaVinci Resolve has a steep learning curve, I think it has a high skill ceiling. That's terminology from games, but really I think it can be valuable because it sort of emphasized that point of um, there is a lot out there to learn, uh, to understand, to get your mind around, but that doesn't stop you uh, from uh, enjoying the process or making good work now. Yes, color grading is a science and an art. I am not a colorist. So much respect for colorists. Yes, fusion is pretty intense as well, but none of that stops you from editing a video when you first jump in. It just limits your scope a little. But then you have so many different options open to you. You can grind away like you would in the craziest MMO, just learning new features in Resolve. This might be time for a good little side note because there are some people who want to learn how to edit for a very specific project or for a very like utilitarian purpose where they have something they need done and then they're kind of going to be done with video editing. Sometimes creators fall into that boat, like they have an idea, they have a vision they want to go for, but they're really eager to offload editing as soon as possible. I have sort of my own pushback against that in general, but I also encourage anyone who is interested at all in video editing um, to take it seriously from the beginning, while at the same time acknowledging that, hey, if you just need something thrown together quick, um, then all things considered, some other options might be better for you. You do have to invest time to learn how DaVinci Resolve works, even uh, to a lower extent, but even to do pretty basic stuff. I think it's absolutely worth it, but not everyone needs it. Oh, also with all this other stuff you can do inside Resolve, it's very fun. It can uh, be intense and sometimes frustrating, but very, very fun too. Next, I recommend DaVinci Resolve to absolute beginners 
because it's on the rise. I'm going to pull up a graph. This isn't to dunk on anyone or anything like that, but this is from Google Trends looking at a web search over the past five years for DaVinci Resolve compared to Vegas Pro, compared to Final Cut Pro. And honestly, I really, really think that the most shocking thing here um, is Final Cut Pro. I am definitely of the mind that since, especially, you know, 2017, 18, Final Cut Pro has been um, on a pretty great, like, redemption arc. I'm sure, I know it started before that and they were building it up for a long time, but um, I have a really high opinion of Final Cut Pro. Since everything fell apart in 2011, I think they deserve the sort of redemption they've had, and there are lots of people who love Final Cut Pro for very good reasons. But looking at this graph, it's pretty wild to see where DaVinci Resolve was five years ago and where it is now. I have a whole bunch of other thoughts um, about Vegas Pro. It is wild how many enormous YouTube channels right now are still using Vegas Pro. And they're using it because, hey, it works. Especially a lot of like one person channels who got going several years ago. Vegas was around. It was cheaper. I believe at that time it was also still a one time fee to get on whatever specific version they were on. But I don't believe uh, Vegas is DaVinci Resolve. And with the moves Resolve is making with um, their attitude door development and just how fast they are developing. If you go back those five years ago, um, Resolve was in a very, very different place. And if you go back and look at what Premiere looked like five years ago, it looks just like Premiere Pro. It looks just like Premiere Pro has looked for a while, except for, I think, like steadily darkening the gray. More recently, they've done some cool stuff. But so what if other people are interested in Resolve? Uh, what does that really mean? That means that there is excitement. And we'll get to how that impacts the community a little bit later, because that is another, um, I think, really big benefit to Resolve. But that excitement um, is still excitement going into the future. We've seen what Blackmagic have done Resolve to get it to this point. Um, and there's no reason to believe they're going to stop. Point number five ish i recommend davinci resolve um because it is a marketable skill set this is a big reason i think people should learn to edit in general it's a marketable skill you can learn how to edit and then you can go edit for people and make money but especially when looking at other uh, free products or products like really focused at beginners knowing how to use those tools just isn't as valuable as knowing how to use something like davinci resolve yes i believe that right now knowing how to use premiere pro is probably on more like job descriptions um, but also, hey, we'll see what happens in the next few years. It is still very, very early for DaVinci Resolve. And while at the end of the day, I do think it matters much more what you can do with the software, and I think most good employers would recognize that, DaVinci Resolve from name recognition and just how it is developing, that in just like the court of opinion will be more valuable if you know Resolve over some of its other competitors. Point number six, very exciting. This goes hand in hand with the point about uh, it gives you somewhere to grow. And that is because... Um, if you start learning DaVinci Resolve, it has paths to completely different, uh, like, creative careers. You can get started in Resolve just editing and sort of, like, chase your passion in what is more interesting. That is what absolutely happened to me. Um, I was working in Premiere, and I started getting a little bit more into color, and then it was made obvious, like, oh, I should be coloring in Resolve. Um, so I was round-tripping between Premiere Pro and Resolve for a long time, and then I saw all the editing tools, and I was like, I should just edit in Resolve. And then, hey, one day I clicked the Fusion button. And that was, that was very cool, and I fell into Fusion, um, and I haven't really looked at color since. But you could be uh, really laser-focused on uh, editing, or color, or Fairlight, or Fusion effects, or like Fusion motion graphics. Yes, Fusion can do some pretty, pretty rad motion graphics stuff. And you could learn any of those to a professional degree inside Fusion for free. Like, there are very few specific tools that you don't get access to in the Fusion version um, that, like, obviously pros would need, but also if you're doing that, especially if you're starting to do work and make money, then you can probably bump up to Studio. This point has a very, very exciting little side note because of the new collaboration tools in Resolve. Especially if you're interested in one of those side fields, uh, whether it's Fairlight or Color or Fusion, um, you can work for people in their projects anywhere in the world. You can be a freelance colorist working anywhere in the world, working for anyone anywhere in the world, um, using the new uh, Blackmagic cloud system they rolled out in 18. Oh, it's very cool. It's very cool. And for this sort of thing, uh, I feel like the remote market is just going to be wild. All right, this might be uh, a little selfish one, but point seven, uh, I recommend DaVinci Resolve uh, because I still think so many people haven't tapped into how powerful fusion effects can be. With the emphasis being that fusion effects can save you time editing. Look at my TikTok 
preset. If you are creating lots of TikToks, specifically like gaming focused TikToks, I honestly think that my TikTok preset is a massive reason for you to choose DaVinci Resolve. And I know there are gonna be so many more tools like that on the way. I'm hoping to develop a few. Mr. Alex Tech has a mind blowing magic animate tool that you can use all on the edit page. There are so many amazing tools that are out there now and so many amazing tools that will come out that will just save you time editing and you're only gonna have access to them in DaVinci Resolve. Finally, the last point, maybe this one is most selfish. I think the DaVinci Resolve community is, is so, so cool. I think coming out of just that ethos, no idea if that is the right word, <laughs> but just uh, like the focus you can tell from black magic design, like the reason they made it free, they care about accessibility and getting things out and seeing what people do with it. And I think the community has really taken that up. I think the community is pretty generous. There are tons of people putting out amazing resources for free and not just training, but presets and templates as well. And I think right now it's in this pretty amazing spot where the community generally is so new um, that it's still like pretty small, the major players in it. So at the same time, it's easy to like, uh, reach out directly to someone and get help on someone. Ooh, ooh, this is exciting. Uh, at, the same th at the same time as all of that, um, if you are interested in making any content about Resolve, absolutely start. There is still so much space for different people, especially people from like different backgrounds or different focuses or different fields uh, to jump in and uh, grow this community of people helping each other out, helping more people get into Resolve. There is that sense that we're sort of like, all on the same team, not just the anti-Adobe team, <laughs> but the team that says like, hey, we like what Resolve is about, we like what you're able to do, and we want to help other people see that um, and help help everyone out. We're, we're, all, we're all here to help. This doesn't really have anything to do with the video, but when I'm talking about community, hey, did you know that ResolveCon 2022 was just announced? We did ResolveCon last year. It was super amazing. This year, we're actually doing um, it in person. It will be streamed live on Casey Ferris's channel completely for free. Um, but I and the other presenters will also be uh, live on location. Uh, I will link a video all about that in the description and probably a link to the website as well. Very, very cool. The community coming together um, to uh, just make an event where we talk and nerd out on Resolve stuff. Um, that's in like October 1st and 2nd, I believe. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very cool. But yeah, I think beginners should use DaVinci Resolve for these reasons. It's free, it gives you a place to start and a place to grow. It's on the rise. Um, Resolve is specifically a marketable skill set. It has paths in it to completely different creative fields, creative professions, and the tools in Resolve like Fusion Effects can just save you time and I, I think the community is pretty cool. Did you start learning video in DaVinci Resolve or did you come from somewhere else? Uh, I'll be hanging out in the comments. Let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.